Okay, Adam and Adams and Eves. I made a scary discovery about these caterpillars. Well, they're cannibalistic. I used to have let's see here about twenty to twenty-five of them. These are the remains. Like this is the remains of one of them. And in there, there's remains of another. And now, I'm down to 20 caterpillars. Or wait, no. Huh. Six. That's not 20. That's 24. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I used to have 20, well apparently I used to have, by the looks of it, more than 25. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the looks of it, you know, I have 24 now, and they ate the 25th and the 26th, apparently. But of course, I remember finding, you know, three bodies, three eaten bodies, but either way it goes, made a shocking discovery with these caterpillars. When push comes to shove, they will become territorial and they will start eating each other. Basically, if they're put into a small enclosure like this one with more or less little to no resources in their eyes they'll start eating the crap out of each other so that's something i learned with us meaning that if i'm going to take care of these little bastards i'm going to have to keep them in separate containers So apparently, you know, I kept them in separate containers to make it easier to take care of them. Apparently, keeping them in separate containers will also make it where they don't kill each other. But yeah, that's a uh, fun fact about caterpillars. Especially the woolly bear cat caterpillar. You yeah. know. They're cannibalistic. But of course, you know, that's under certain circumstances. In the wild, however, they pretty much have a larger space to work with, so... Yeah. So the likelihood of cannibalism, you know, is small in the wild. While in captivity... You know, they're more likely to go cannibalistic. But for obvious reasons, you know, they believe that there's not many dead fly, that there's not many resources to go around. And if this, they'll start eating each other. Yeah. It's all about the resources. Yeah.